Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to be filming this video for you today. I've been away for like a month and I haven't filmed for like a month. So this feels really good to be back into it. If you haven't seen on my Instagram, Snapchat, slash Facebook, I was in Italy and Switzerland for a month. My family and I went for a little holiday and it's always nice to escape the winter and go over to summer for the month. So that was amazing. And if you want to see any of the videos from our time there, I've made like a ton of travel vlogs that are currently going up. I absolutely love making travel videos because I just feel like you feel very immersed in the scenery and like a picture which I still think is beautiful. I just love being in a video where you can like kind of see exactly what they were seeing. So I will leave a link below to the playlist where I have all those kind of videos. I've been making videos for so long just for like personal reflection, like I love watching them like all the time. But moving on to something super exciting. I went shopping for some luxury makeup while I was overseas. As you know, if you live in New Zealand, it's really hard to get access to brands like Too Faced and even like Urban Decay. I think we have one Urban Decay shop and that is in the duty free of um, the Auckland International Airport. So, you know, a bit of a stretch if you're not traveling a lot like I'm not. So um, I went shopping. I only really hit up um, Sephora and some of the other luxury um, shops when I was in Florence and Venice. The rest of the time we were in like smaller places so they didn't really have a lot of makeup. But I'm super excited. I picked up some stuff I'd been eyeing up for ages and I thought I would just do a luxury kind of haul video for you today. I've never done that before so I thought it could be fun. Um, I also picked up a lot of affordable makeup so I'm going to do that in a separate video so you know we can just like appreciate each thing for what it is. But yeah, this is my Sephora bag. <gasps> I'm so excited. This wasn't just one trip. This was like three trips and I've just kind of like put it all in. I also put in the two things I got at G3 Auckland Airport into this bag because I checked out that bag, I didn't even think about it, but for the sake of this video, you can still get them at Sephora, so that's who they are. I'll definitely do some more in-depth videos on them, but let's just get into the video. This is the Benefit Cheekathon palette, I absolutely love it. I've never actually had any of the Benefit um, powder products before, I've had like their eye, um, eye stuff their mascara and like their eyebrow stuff but I've never had the powders. They are quite pricey in New Zealand, I think they're like $50 maybe like per powder. So this was $99 which I thought was perfect because you get Hoola, you get Rockature, Dandelion I think it's called, um, Coralista and Della. So that's like six, it's not six, it's five. Five full size products. I used it I think in one of my recent Get Ready With Me's when I got ready with it in Switzerland, if you want to check that out. So I only got one other thing at the Auckland Duty Free. I think this was called, it's the Loop Duty Free. It's the one where you go through security and it's on the right, so it's the bigger one. But it's the one with Urban Decay and I picked up one of the Naked Skin Concealers. I was dying to try this and I got the shade Light Warm. So it's like a nice kind of yellowy undertoned concealer. I'm wearing it today, I really, really like it. I think I said in my video, again the get ready with me in Switzerland that I was kind of like holding my judgment because it was like my first time using it but I really really like it even at the moment now that I'm like currently more tanned than I was when I went away it works really well it definitely gives a really bright um, and I highlight for the color I am at the moment but I think it's beautiful and yeah I really like it I like the formula I really like the application um, the applicator so yeah I think that's really beautiful and I definitely see what the hype was about um, turn the brightness down a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I got such a fright. I'm such a jumpy person, it sucks. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a ton of wind today. It is like the worst weather I've ever seen. And it's super windy all on the deck, and it's just like, it's blowing all the furniture around. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty intense. <laughs> okay, so this only got released in New Zealand like a little while ago. It got released, um, here later than it did in Europe so I went in with the idea in mind that I would want number either three or four that was kind of like what I was thinking because I have like a red tone in my hair it's quite hard to find like an Albany kind of eyebrow pencil so I heard that three was like a cool toned one forgot that when I went in kind of wish I got number four but three does work really well um, so yeah anyway the lady told me about this it's the soft and natural brows and it's a kit so basically I think for one product it was maybe like 27 euro I think for like the goof proof um, eyebrow pencil 
but if you got this set it was like 39 and you got two extra products so I was like no brainer so in this set which is number three it comes with all these little things so you get a mini ready set brow which is like a clear eyebrow gel you also get the goof proof pencil which again I got in number three and you get the highbrow pencil I have never been one to use an eyebrow pencil like a highlighting pen um, under my eyebrows because I don't know I just never kind of was in on that but because I had it I've been trying it and I absolutely love it it's definitely a very wearable very natural color pencil um, there's also the glow brow I think it's called the high glow brow and that's definitely more of a, like a shimmery highlight shade which is absolutely gorgeous so creamy you don't need a lot you can just like blend it in with like a flat eyeshadow brush I use like a synthetic one and it's amazing and this is really nice it feels like you've got nothing in your brows in terms of like brow mascara it's just beautiful and again benefit do amazing eyebrow brushes so the brush that comes in this is awesome I'm wearing this today all three of them but I also added a little bit of my MUA Pro Brow Palette um, just because it's quite a ready brown just to give it a bit more red just to match so I'll go to the brand that I got most of. Now, I have never owned, that's a lie, I own one thing from Too Faced. I own the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep and I absolutely love it. So when I went over there, I was super excited. I'd already done my research online, found out that Europe does stock Too Faced in Sephora. And so when I went to Florence, I went a little bit, a little bit crazy, not too crazy, because I don't have that kind of budget. But I got a few things and I was so excited to try them. I got the Better Than Sex Mascara. This is just the original formula. They did have the waterproof, but you know, I was just like, I'll get the original. Waterproof can be a little bit annoying to take off, but I have heard really good things since then. I am liking it more and more as the time goes on. The first time I used it was actually when I got to the Amalfi Coast and I didn't really like it. But I used it today and I liked it a lot more. I think with any mascara, it's always better once the product dries out slightly, gets a bit of air in there. You know, it um, really helps hold the lashes. So yeah, I really like that. And I'll be using it in some more tutorials as well. Thank God for you guys, because all I use currently is my Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. So switching it up, which is good. The next thing I got is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And this is in the shade Natural Beige. I've heard really good things. Um, I did get it a little bit darker, I mean, when I got to Florence, that was our first kind of Italian stop, so I wasn't very tanned, I was still kind of like my winter shade, um, Switzerland wasn't super hot when we were there, so this should still match me at the moment, I haven't used it yet, I haven't even opened it, I haven't even like looked at it, because I really want to do a first impression video for you guys, because I've never done a first impression video before. I picked up the Too Faced Natural Matte matte neutral eyeshadow collection and it comes in this little box it peach palette was like sold out everywhere so I couldn't even swatch it they didn't have the tester out which kind of sucked but is what it is I think it is beautiful like I just love the warm undertones of these eyeshadows I think they're so wearable so up my alley not too orange but I mean these two are gorgeous I love that I've got quite a few of these on today because I just started playing and just like putting more and more and just like oh I'll try a bit of this and oh, I'll try a bit of that and this is kind of what I ended up with it's still pretty natural but yeah I think it's really nice and I really like how you get these colors as well I always use these kind of colors all over my lid to start with just to give the other eyeshadow something to blend in with I've got another palette now this is the one I kind of struggle between um this is the semi sweet chocolate bar palette and yeah I think it is freaking beautiful. I found it really hard to decide which one I wanted. Um, I was swatching and swatching and my family were at the cafe across the road so I felt a little bit pressured um, but in the end I went with the semi sweet chocolate palette and I'm super happy I did. Not that I would have regretted the other one but I do like this one a lot. To be honest I think the colour that made it for me was peanut butter. I love the look of peanut butter and these two and that one. I'm wearing it today and I'm wearing like peanut butter, I've got a mix of those two as well. Got a little bit of coconut cream in there. So that was all of my Too Faced stuff and then I just got two more things. Um, this was actually on sale, it was half price so it was 40 euros down to 19 euros I think. You know, half price this. It is the Urban Decay Shadow Box. I had not heard of this but I was like, I like Urban Decay. It's on sale, that must be good. 
I'm just gonna get it. But I definitely recognized Smog. Um, that baked cowboy does look a lot like half baked. But I thought it'd be really fun to have these kind of brighter colors. They swatched really well when I swatched them when I got home. Um, so yeah, I'll have to have a bit of a play and see how they turn out, but I'm really excited to use them. I think if this palette works out, then it's a perfect little like travel palette because it's so small, it's so handy, it's really like robust, which is perfect. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to try it. So the last makeup item I got from my high-end haul was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Now I know that <laughs> this definitely isn't new. I remember using it at makeup school and I remember really really liking it. I can't remember what shade I used then but the shade I got was Y315 um, and I really like it. I haven't tried it. I like the swatch. Um, again I want to do a first impressions video because I think those videos are really cool and it's I just love the way that you use it for the whole day and you get an impression that way rather than just using it like when you're doing your makeup and then saying oh I love it and then it doesn't wear well or it wears amazingly. And I feel like you guys should know. So for the second part of this haul, I did a bit of a luxury skincare haul. I went to Coin Excelsior. I didn't get anything new from here, but while I was away, I completely ran out of like my entire skincare range. If you've watched my skincare story, which I will link it down below, I basically use all Kiehl's products. I love Kiehl's products, like they just work wonders for my skin. My skin has never been so clear. Um, so I ran out of product, everything, cleanser, toner, moisturizer, even my lip balm. I ran out of the lip balm as well. I went in there and I picked up some products. They were quite significantly cheaper than they are in New Zealand. So it was amazing. I was like, I need it, I need it now. Like I've run out. So I was super glad to get there and just to start using it again. So the first thing I picked up was my cleanser, and this is the Kiehl's Centella Skin Calming Facial Cleanser. This is amazing. It's really good if your skin is quite sensitive, it's very calming, it doesn't sting, it's just that you can use it on your eyes, which I really like, and it really tells you something. It's also soap free, it's got like natural extracts, 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 but it's not super natural, like too organic, because my skin doesn't really process organic skincare very well. It's um, a little bit too active for my skin. And I often get like a rash on my face or something, which nobody wants. So yeah, I picked that up. I also picked up my um, toner. And this is the Clearly Corrective White Clarity Activating Toner. Now, if you've watched my skincare video, you should be so proud of me. I didn't mark that up for once. I think it took me three times to say Clearly Corrective White in my video. Literally, it will last me for. Ever. Then I also grabbed my moisturizer and this is the Centella Recovery Skin Salve with Tiger Herb and Aloe Vera. Absolutely amazing under your makeup. It's like a primer. I've used it on multiple different people. I use it every time before I do my makeup and I absolutely love it. And the last thing I picked up, I think this was 9 euros, is the Kiehl's Travel Tested Solutions a eucalyptus. eucalyptus lip relief and it's like a little lip balm that is my haul i hope you like it please if you have any suggestions of like things i should be trying or things i can get from like sephora nz leave them in the comments down below i would love 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 to know but i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you again soon bye